this is everything that I have to work with you guys. I have so many different things. I may use all of it. I may not. I have all of these fun Christmas mugs. Um, some mugs that I've already had. This was actually gifted to me by one of my friends, Shanti. She sent me this about two years ago. Um, I bought this almost two years ago at Hobby Lobby. And then these are all new ones that I got. This was a set for $5 from the Target dollar spot. And then this is just the Ray Dunn cup that I picked up from Marshalls. I have tons of little storage things for my hot cocoa. I'm actually going to take this out. I'm not going to keep this out. I used to always keep coffee pods in it, but I have them in my drawer right now. So that's going to free up some space. Lots of different decor. Of course, my hot cocoa. And then we'll have marshmallows, different peppermints and spoons to add in. Lots of good stuff and fun things to use. This fun garland. I'm so excited. This is my favorite time of year. And you guys know I love decorating my hot cocoa bar. And we are in a new house, so we have more space to work with this year. Let's begin. Now that I got the counter all cleared off, I'm going to go ahead and just spray it and give it a good wipe down so we can start with a nice clean slate. Do not mind my Keurig, that thing is so dirty. I wipe it down a little bit, but I don't thoroughly deep clean it. I'm actually considering getting a smaller one. I've talked about it before. I don't really use the big pot size and this thing is just huge and it just takes up so much space. I mean, I have the space for it. It's nice that I have the space here versus when I lived in the apartment, it took up like most of my counter, but I would like a smaller one. I'm thinking maybe even white. If you did not catch my Christmas decor haul, I will link that down below. I found a few of these mugs during that haul. Some of these are mugs that I already had, but I love styling mugs. And I got this cute little mug holder that spins around from Marshalls. Absolutely love it, and I feel like it's really convenient for something like this. So if we're taking from mugs, we can easily just spin it and have mugs sitting in the front or pick and choose which one we want. It's cold outside. Keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've got now I'm just gonna place some of these hot cocoa packs in this cute little shelf here. I absolutely love this shelf. It was from the Target dollar spot for $5. I figured I would style this with hot cocos to grab out easily for Lakin and then like some of the peppermint spoons and the chocolate sticks. I didn't have any straws that's on my list to still get because I would love to put like some reusable straws here for him as well. Everything will be okay because all I want to do is spend this holiday with you tomorrow is How cute is this little cutting board? That was a part of a little tiered tray set I got from the Target dollar spot. Fun fact, I did have a little gnome Santa in there in tank, saw it, and he took it, and it has been nowhere to be found ever since. To place that little cutting board in that shelf, I did fold up a bunch of paper towels just to kind of have a resting spot for it. And then I have this mason jar that I've had for the last couple years. I've actually used it and another hot cocoa bar video but I'm gonna just place the chocolate spoons in there. I figured it would be perfect just to keep that separately because these were not individually wrapped. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh 
Christmas tree. Thy leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer's here, but also when it's cold and drear. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh. I have these very cute peppermint bowls that I'm going to place down on the little tray here. I'm going to add some peppermint Hershey Kisses. And then I decided I would put the chocolate hot cocoa bombs in there. Since those are individually wrapped, I just thought it would turn out cute. I wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want to do too much here. And overall, I'm glad that I went with this because it did turn out really nice once it was all put together. Such pleasure do you bring me. I have this super cute hot cocoa bar sign that I actually got as a hot cocoa bar set from Amazon. I actually ordered this before I went to Target and then I didn't like any of it once I received it because I found all my cocoa bar stuff from Target. What I'm doing here, I'm just placing it in a magnetic sleeve so that way I can place it on the side of my fridge. I think that it turned out really cute doing this. Get you some magnetic insert sheets. These are really nice to have. You can put these on your fridges. They're perfect for like calendars, lots of different things. I even put pictures in these things. So this little sign came with the set. I do like the sign, but the rest of the stuff I honestly had no use for since I went to Target and got everything that I needed from there. I decided to layer my garland. This gingerbread and candy cane garland is so cute. It was actually really long, you guys. I actually cut off just enough for the length of what this cocoa garland was, and I think it turned out really cute. I really love the, the way that this looks, and I feel like it just gives it that pop that the cocoa bar needed, and it's like the last final touch. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. to end the video here you guys and i'm going to make me a yummy cup of hot cocoa i had to test out the hot cocoa bar and try my first cup of the season i will be honest i actually do not like these hot cocoa bombs they just seem to melt and stick to the bottom and they make the cups very messy i don't think lincoln really cared for them either so i will not buy more of these once we are out i was making a mess when i was doing this of course you know, for the video, I gotta keep it real here. Everything is not always perfect, but overall, we love hot chocolate. I love this area. I love how it turned out. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope this video inspired you. Set up a hot cocoa bar. I'll link my previous videos of 
over the years when I made hot cocoa bars. You don't have to have a huge space, you guys, to do this. You can definitely use a small counter space. Whatever you have, you can work with. What really matters is just the memories that it creates for your children. At the end of the day, it is not about the size or what you have. It's just the fact that you are doing it and you are creating those memories. Until the next video, you guys, stay beautiful, stay blessed. And as always, don't forget how strong and powerful you are.